कम से कम इलेक्ट्रॉन बोर्ड होता तो आपको बस जानकारी होती भाई यहाँ से यहाँ गया यहाँ गया यहाँ गया आप नहीं जा सकते यू कांट गो यहाँ से यहाँ बट देर टॉकिंग अबाउट मनी कमिंग इन राइट आफ्टर द रेट सेवन आफ्टर द मनी There was a nice slip up there. There was a very nice slip up. She noticed. No. It's reached that stage. No. Because all kinds of permutation combination have been used to, you know, go through the data. Nobody is wiser now. The We very are. party which now says, "Oh, this is a scam. This is a scandal," had also taken money through the bonds. Arey, bhai, tell me what moral authority anyone has to speak? Because it was the law then. I'm sorry. Who has the moral authority to speak? Uh, yeah. Okay. So she see this is what what uh, BJP is good at doing, right? I see they, they completely gloss over these things, though. No? Like and and Navika is just like, <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course. Chalo, chalo. But the bolo. I guess why is BJP taking opposition leaders into its fold? Okay. What can we do if they want to join us? <laughs> so helpless hum kya kar sakte hain they just want to join us april fool banaya kitna gussa aaya that's the song that is playing in my head uh, after i read this hi man correct if i'm wrong on this prime minister saying they will regret for the electoral bonds criticism isn't it intimidation or directly threatening cji or members of the opposition uh, kishore okay uh, do you want to start with uh, modi ji Mo- what modi ji said about electoral bonds i think let's let's do that so modi ji gave an interview to thanthi tv it is a tamil nadu channel uh, which is owned by a newspaper which is the biggest newspaper i found out today anyway uh, guys uh, in chat i don't know what is the slant of this tv channel i'm also wondering why modi ji chose that particular channel is it like the most watched channel or is it uh, you know like a bjp friendly channel in case anybody anybody knows anyone from tamil nadu in chat knows what the slant is please let me know uh, we will be wise because of you okay so he gave uh, an interview to thanthi tv right and he said that uh, the electoral bond so basically he was asked that whether the electoral bonds issue caused a setback to his government he said no system is perfect and any shortcoming can be improved upon but uh, we'll watch the clip actually that's the idea sir i also want to ask you about the, uh, the electoral bonds data that has been published uh, do you think this has caused some embarrassment to your party a setback mujhe bataiye aisa kya kiya hai ki jiske karan mujhe setback ho main pakka maan जो लोग इसको लेकर के आज नाच रहे हैं और गर्व कर रहे हैं वो पछताने वाले हाउ मैं जरा पूछना चाहता हूं इन सभी विद्वानों को कि 2014 के पहले जितने चुनाव हुए हैं चुनाव में खर्चा तो हुआ ही होगा ना बिना खर्चा नहीं कौन एजेंसी है जो मैं बता पाए कि पैसा कहां से आया था कहां गया और किसने खर्च ये तो मोदी ने इलेक्ट्रॉन बॉन्ड बनाया था इसके कारण आज आप ढूंढ पा रहे हो कि पैसा बॉन्ड किसने लिया कहा दिया कैसे वॉट आर लाई लाइक सी दिस इज वॉट आई मीन नाउ दे आर जस्ट लाइक ब्लेटेंटली लाइंग एंड दे आर एक्सपेक्टिंग पीपल टू जस्ट ईट इट अप which which is so bizarre like this is not a reason so uh, in case for for our uh, non hindi audience uh, what he is essentially saying ha huh, he said that uh, tell me what uh, tell me what have we done that i should see it as a setback i firmly believe that those dancing over it bond details and taking pride in it are going to repent how are bhai how you are going to repent right because uh, the people are basically saying that uh, tumne chori kiya hai uh, and uh, you are the one who is supposed to repent not the people who are dancing over it kuch bhi prime minister said it is due to the electoral ward system put in by his government that the source of funding and its beneficiary can be found if a trail is available today it is because of the presence of bonds he said asking if any agency can tell about the sources of beneficiaries before 2014 it's crazy he is actually now saying and claiming that he has taken credit for the disclosure now which is what ये तो मोदी ने इलेक्ट्रॉन बॉन्ड बनाया था इसके कारण आज आप ढूंढ पा रहे हो कि पैसा बॉन्ड किसने लिया कहा दिया कैसे वरना तो पहले तो पता ही नहीं था चुनाव तो खर्चा होता था 
आज आपको ट्रेल मिल रहा है क्योंकि इलेक्ट्रोरल बॉन्ड थे कोई व्यवस्था डूड द लिटरल पॉइंट ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रोरल बॉन्ड वॉज टू हाइड द ट्रेल द लिटरल पॉइंट ऑफ द एंटायर स्कीम वॉज अनोनिमिटी ही सेंग द ऑपोजिट नाउ दैट इलेक्ट्रोरल बॉन्ड वॉज सपोज टू बी देयर फॉर ट्रांसपेर आई कैनॉट I cannot with with this person any I cannot like the amount of lying that he does is insane sometimes it do, do you do you hear him am i like overreacting or something i don't think so i i don't think so i i genuinely don't he's changing yeah changing goal post pro max exactly <laughs> exactly it's like he's just like goal nahi laga to he's just like changing it the supreme court is the one that made them disclose all the data and now he's saying oh electoral boards the isilie data <laughs> disclose hua <laughs> modi ne kiya kam se kam electron board hota to aapko bas jankari hoti bhai yahan se yahan gaya yahan gaya yahan gaya that mr that's literally what the electoral boards was supposed to not do yahan se gaya yahan se gaya yahan se gaya no no beech mein electoral board hai aap nahi ja sakte you can't go yahan se yahan because in the middle there is this big fat electoral bond scam that your government brought in which hides all this transaction electoral bonds laya isliye to transaction no just no my god moving to elections your party by most opinion polls or all opinion polls looks like it is in a poll position in yeah, a comfort no, no. that's it that's that's the that's the response no counter questioning from the anchors and that's why i asked what is this thanti tv ka situation madam navika interviewing uh, nirmala sitaraman let us start with that the question the question really is uh two chief ministers behind bars uh, uh every political party is on the back foot uh, facing ed questions uh you say you welcome people very soon people are saying at the rate people are joining the bjp you will become the reserve political bank of india you'll have to lend uh, uh, candidates to other uh, political parties to fight elections uh, uh, is that lol 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 so hell said lol 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 very funny very funny reserve bank I, I, this is not sorry am i the only one who doesn't find this funny it is kind of scary how are you laughing at this is that something that we'll see soon very interesting proposition i think you should vote tonight's 9 o'clock debate on it but honestly uh, people who you wouldn't touch with a barge pole people who you actually called uh, uh, you know icons of corruption are now suddenly all of them in your party uh, uh talk about talk about the war widows and their uh, ashok chavan is in your party ajit pawar chakki piecing chakki piecing irrigation scam 70000 crore oh lo and behold he joined the bjp now he is not chakki piecing now he is uh, icon of development in maharashtra i want to ask you where where does real politics of development begin and where does hypocrisy end okay that was a decent question well done navika i did not uh, expect it to be that uh... assertive yeah 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 agree chat i think there was a decent attempt at a question real development politics happens and keeps happening nothing changes it people are welcome to come to bjp but the core work of the bjp whether it is today whether it is bjp of pre 14 whether it is bjp of earlier or even jansang has continued i am not saying a is an opportunist or b is or c is not if people see work happening and they think as political representatives in the ground a party is making a difference they obviously would want to come and join but the bjp's value systems and the way in which the party runs under certain leadership continue i don't think there is ever a compromise on that so tainted That's not leaders what joining asked. your party no bar everybody is welcome even they are welcome with a red uh, carpet uh, rolled out for them Good. as i said party is open we welcome everybody everybody yes. even people who have nine cbi cases against them party is welcoming everybody Miss Nirmala Sita Rama, what, what? How is that? How is that a normal response? How can you just gloss over? Oh, but I mean, she pushed. I like that she pushed. But like, I, I don't understand this smooth transition that happened in the middle. Okay, my son, that. So tainted leaders joining your party, no bar. Everybody is welcome. Even they are welcome with a red uh, carpet uh, rolled out for them. As I said, party is open. We welcome everybody. Everybody. even people who have nine cbi cases against them party is welcoming everybody ms nirmala sitaraman let me let me also ask you very recently uh, a very well known film star joined uh, your party i'm talking she, she moves on to kangna renaut right after that how can you not be how can you be normal 
we welcome everybody even people with cbi cases nine cbi cases yeah we welcome everybody <laughs> no counter question so he, she was doing well huh? like initially she did well she pushed and then suddenly she gave up it's like like you know like at this point she should have been like uh yeah but like you know do you not find any moral failing on your part that the people who you accuse of corruption are joining your party and uh, isn't that kind of problematic because they're still corrupt right and then when ed cases get dropped which which is being controlled by your government if they get dropped and if 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 no action is taken against them instead they get like minister posts and whatever isn't that a problem ma'am i guess not i guess i guess i guess it's not i guess it's not to what bs tomorrow hafiz said might want to join bjp uh, nirmala ji would be like yes yes we welcome everybody dude uh, dev actually rajnath singh also gave a similar response we'll look at his interview after this but this is insane arrogance at display and therefore the thumbnail it is 56 inch arrogance at display that is what you are watching today uh, 56 inch arrogance happening okay uh, next one why are you breaking governments uh, even in himachal pradesh you've imported i think uh, nine uh, mlas uh, six from congress three independents uh, uh, you you are uh, also now suddenly finding alliance partners uh, when for 10 years you didn't have any need for them is it uh, nervousness क्या बीजेपी डर गई है ऑपोजिशन क्या बीजेपी डर गई है ऑपोजिशन दिस कॉन होल्ड गुड कैन इट बीजेपी डर गई है मगर बीजेपी भेज रही है ईडी मेकअप योर माइंड वट आई कॉन बी डरा हुआ एंड यू सी बी आई टू गो आफ्टर यू and equally invite political parties to come have alliance with me that makes no sense zero sense what she just said i don't know what logic uh, i can't be dara hua dar gayi hai opposition as when this can't hold good can it bjp dar gayi hai magar bjp bhej rahi hai ed ab bjp dar gayi hai par bjp bhej rahi hai ed that's the whole point isn't it bjp dar gayi hai isliye ed bheji ja rahi hai that's exactly what they are saying and she's saying how can that be i'm so confused how is this make up your mind yeah i can't be dara hua and okay. use cbi to go after you and equally invite political parties to come have alliance with me that, that's that's actually a great chronology that you just explained ma'am uh, that okay so bjp is scared right they're scared of the opponents so what do they do they wield a weapon called the extortion directorate and go wapa they're like wapa right and then uh, raid 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 yeah and then uh, if if you know like if the politician can't take it they switch parties come to power uh, come to bjp because bjp welcomes everyone right and then the the thing goes away um yeah that's that's pretty much the chronology and she is also like saying the same thing i guess suhel said pe pause kar liya i'm so sorry guys oh my wow. god i should have given a trigger warning i'm so sorry I I tried I tried a good uh, few minutes to actually decrypt what she was saying and then I was like nahi live dekh lenge maybe it, something will strike me and I'll understand the law, the the point that she was going to make uh I can't chat if you if you can help me chat is there anyone who can decipher that your brain will give up it's true listen again i feel she's admitting that she is not scared and that can be proven cause she's sending ed ip against opponents so that's what no like is he chweta that's exactly it right you know she's saying how can so i'm not scared and therefore i'm sending ed to my opponents but then that just means you're scared of your opponents and that's why you're sending the ed right so just i, I, I sorry not not attempting it anymore we are we are yeah <laughs> uh, afrin is saying yes i can decipher it she's being a politician just trying to twist words accurate accurate yes but uh, guys she's our finance minister so when she says things i i i was trying to take it seriously am i not supposed to take her seriously she's our finance minister i'm just saying uh anyway because you pursued them on political interest courts are going to thrash us down 
the credit the credibility of the enforcement agencies will all come down and they'll be severely pulled up you think agencies are not conscious of these sort of things the courts have thrashed you down on the issue of electoral bonds on the issue Aha. of electoral bonds you were seen on the back foot trying to hide information that should have been transparently available to citizens of india not my words the words of uh, the apex court the supreme court and now as more and more people are going through the data they are saying that at least 16 such companies who have donated to the bjp and other political parties have donated after they were raided by one enforcement agency or the other so uh, again notice what she says uh, she says you know like uh, transparency nahi tha not my word supreme court and then there are people who are working on this database not times now there are people who are working on it who are doing stories basically she is using independent journalist reports to now question the finance minister but also not giving credit because you know they to jack shows ki hai like if you see manisha's uh, newsons this week she she basically has put out a graph they have done zero debates on electoral bonds man like neither of these famous anchors have done any debates on electoral bonds apparently arnab did one which was about how dmk took money bjp chhod do dmk took money that was what the debate was about but other than that they're just not touching it and when they are asking questions also they like are they are working on it they are saying so sure sure but thanks for asking i guess matlab itna hi ab two three things uh, navika the courts have thrashed a law which existed it was a law passed by the parliament and based on the law bonds have been bought yeah bonds have been encashed based on that law bonds have been bought bonds have been encashed by all parties maybe just one who didn't want it cbn okay. So now when it has been encashed by all parties based on a law so it was not unlawful during that time when the law was in place okay today the supreme court has said no that law shall not be and having said that that law is no longer valid they still went ahead to say reveal everything which happened during that phase so at least at least uh, she is not giving credit of revealing these things to modi ji modi ji is taking credit for revealing these things but nirmala sitaraman is giving credit to the supreme court for revealing the details thank you <laughs> but you are going against your boss ma'am i must say your boss will not be happy he just claimed victory on your behalf and now you are like are supreme court ne- what anyway and it's also equally true i'm not uh, dissecting the court's order but it's equally true that at that time confidentiality of the donor was a given in the law i remember <laughs> arun jaitley speaking about it in the parliament post which it was passed but never mind the court wanted that to be disclosed it has been disclosed after the disclosure now more than 10 days have passed everybody has done a complete tooth combing of the data yeah everyone is received from everybody every donor is given everybody ed raids have happened even on those who have given the money to bjp you may pick up and say but that's the whole point uh <laughs> ed raids have happened and therefore some donors picked up bonds and gave but i want to also put it the other way around people had given money through the bonds ed raids still happened it didn't give them the immunity no. No, but they are talking about money coming in right after the raids. I am exactly saying this. Even after the money has been given, we have still sent the ED. If we are sending the ED, ED is at all. ED is are independent to do what they. Want. <laughs> That was a nice slip up there. That was a very nice slip up. She noticed. Everyone is received from everybody. Every donor is given everybody. ED raids have happened even on those who have given the money to BJP. You may pick up and say, ED raids have happened, and therefore some donors picked up bonds and gave. but i want to also put it the other way around people had given money through the bonds ed raids still happened it didn't give them the immunity no but they are talking about money coming in right after the raids i am exactly saying this even after the money has been given we have still sent the ed if we are sending ed ed is at all <laughs> no okay her logic is that it all depends on on the sequence of events guys it all depends on the sequence of events okay so if you give money to bjp before then an ed raid happens then it's all okay like there is no criminal activity happening here but on the other hand if uh, ed raid happens first and then they give money then that is wrong is that the logic that so it depends on when the ed raid happens before or after <laughs> according to her that is the that is the problem there
that 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 is the that is the logic basically amazing it is our independent to do what they want so i think it's reached a stage where political parties think it's if you show one finger business you know three are coming back to me so better leave the topic where it is no it's reached that stage no because all kinds of permutation combination have been used to you know go through the data nobody is wiser now the we very are. party which now says oh this is a scam this is a scandal had also taken money through the bonds are bhai tell me what moral authority anyone has to speak because it was the law then i'm sorry who has the moral authority to speak uh, yeah okay so she see this is what what uh, bjp is good at doing right when they say opposition it is always either the congress or some party so they're like who has the moral authority the citizens do ma'am the citizens do have the moral authority to still ask you and other parties why have you taken this money what did you give in return Th- that is the moral authority of the people yeah and it as it should be because the government should be answerable to the people the parties in power should be answerable to the people you turn it into like this whole uh, you know ruling versus opposition parties thing and is like who has the more are bhai matlab tumhare world view mein koi exist nahi karta kya other than this Uh, which is like oh either you're in power or you're in opposition everybody else is just watching and they're like ho ho ha 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 we are just like dumb consumers of your propaganda dude i mean like the arrogance of it all the 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 as a tapakta arrogance i mean amazing it went lawfully it was a, a step better than what prevailed earlier what prevailed earlier was a law where it was free for all you could give in cash you could give in you know boris you could come in suitcases you could do anything uh, there is what this one did was at least that the donor will put it in his account the recipient party will put it into it its own account so there is a money trail that you can establish uh, also by the way pehle borio mein dete the she just said ki oh, people will fill cash in sacks uh, it must be happening in the 70s so she's remembering nostalgia or i guess so like they used to fill it in boras and give it to the party right You know what they did with electoral bonds? There were parties who have actually said this in letters that oh one day a lifafa showed up with ten crore in bonds. So it saved them effort essentially, right? कि ओ पहले तो बोरा भर के लाना पड़ता था, sack gunny sack full of cash. How will we carry? And now suddenly you have one uh, random envelope with ten crore rupees stuffed inside in the form of ten crisp bonds. just left at your doorstep rjd and parties have said this when they gave a response to the supreme court they said we don't know where we got it from the lifafa just showed up it was very fun it was a great day for us we bought everyone samosas yes i see they, they completely gloss over these things no like and and navika is just think <laughs> of course <laughs> of course chalo chalo matlab bolo i guess ish is it not one step better than what was before that was a story in the electoral electoral bond business but that's not n- wait uh, let's say i make a law legalizing murder and then i commit commit a murder the supreme court strikes the law down but i can't be prosecuted because the crime happened when the murder was legal kya logic <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly oh my god it's it's ridiculous now the case because the court has struck it down so next term if you were to come back uh, will you look at uh, financing of elections uh, and uh, you know meet the twin ambitions and goals of transparency as well as controlling money power in politics it is important and we need to have a lot more debate about it lot more inputs from stakeholders we need to understand how to better the system which has been rejected now which was still better than the earlier prevailing system which is what we've gone back to it now. wasn't we need to do something better but it a lot wasn't. more work is required it wasn't and also you should have done the debate and discussion before it was introduced it you didn't like you literally had the chance to do that for 10 years and instead what you came up with was a uh, bapa fall umbrella scams with tiny tiny scams happening under it uh, ma'am uh, your predecessor shri sir uh, like late arun jetli ji was the one who came up with this genius idea on his own and now modi ji is taking credit for it and also going you are completely going off script 
because modi ji said something else like now that we are looking at this i wanted to uh, show you what uh, rajnath singh said so there was this uh, interview in the week people are casting their votes only in modi's name says rajnath singh at the release of a book on ayodhya in delhi how do you see the supreme court's verdict on electoral bonds the state bank of india is releasing all the figures i think we should let the supreme court decide but leaving the supreme court decision aside if demands arise tomorrow that in a healthy democracy we must disclose our voting choices should we do that should this information be made public personally i feel that we should not make the electoral bonds public because if a certain donor contributed to x party because of its ideology and tomorrow y party comes to power then the donor faces risk of being harassed this is my opinion but we will respect he literally compared it to voting choices should we do that i guess that is another way to logic it out so the, even so fikki and asokya asokya and ci and all these industry bodies went to the supreme court with this only which is like oh my god we have a right to privacy how dare you disclose this uh, but that, that was rejected by the supreme court that was just rejected because citizens have a right to information and the supreme court was like yeah so reveal that's what happened but some donors faced the heat of central agencies before they decided to contribute to bjp there is no link between the two the edi and cbi are autonomous organizations which have been working even during the congress led regime it is not as if they came into existence during the bjp's time that's where uh, even nirmala sitaraman caught herself no yahan pe to rajnath singh is giving text interview smart man so you can just uh, edit it out maybe but uh, nirmala sitaraman is like uh, uh, after the gift donation we we send it oh no no sorry sorry if if we send it they are independent okay they are independent <laughs> why is bjp taking opposition leaders into its fold okay what can we do if they want to join us <laughs> so helpless <laughs> हम क्या कर सकते हैं दे जस्ट वॉन्ट टू जॉइन अस द कल्चर एंड ट्रेडिशन ऑफ भारत हैज टॉट अस टू वेलकम एवरी वन इन आर हाउस इफ आई कम टू योर हाउस वॉन्ट यू वेलकम मी ओ माई गॉड ओ माई गॉड ओके हाउ डू यू ट्रस्ट पॉलिटिशियंस लाइक नीतीश कुमार who made yet another u turn in the nda right before polls we are trusting people we do not distrust anyone if anyone ditches us it is another story but we are not the ones to ditch anyone it is not in our character former prime minister atal bihari vajpayee used to say hum dhoka kha sakte hai dhoka de nahi sakte <laughs> april fool banaya kitna gussa aaya that's the song that is playing in my head uh, after i read this have you heard this song please please hear this song it is the amazing april fool song <laughs> if anyone ditches us yes if anyone ditches us it is another story but we are not the ones to ditch anyone now hum chaat kha sakte hain par chatwa nahi sakte What do you think will electoral bond data be used to punish the culprits or we will have to wait for the congress regime uh babu nindo bangla uh, i think it will be at some point uh, let's wait yeah uh, i i give this example now because thanks to modi ji we have this example uh, congress is being sent income tax notices for things that they did in 1992 now fun fun so then let's say today we have this data right 20 years from now some government is like hmm this this leader was connected to this party hmm and then we saw this electoral bond data coming out chodo ed just send 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 ed pmla money laundering why not so then sharat reddy the guy who gave a statement against kejriwal yeah Uh, his company aurobindo pharma donated money to the bjp right uh, after he turned approver and then they just let him go because he had back pain and all very very uh, tragic so they let him go right then maybe 20 years down the line someone will be like bring that sharat reddy again we hear he gave money to bjp hmm hmm send ed send send ed and the funny thing would be that then the ed will be different right because the the ed will be investigating the ed then because all these uh, things have happened because of the ed 
So then 20 years down the line, there would be an ED who would be investigating the actions of themselves as an organizer. That would be a fun time. Babu Nindo, we'll be there, Ray. We'll be there. We'll see all these things. It's okay. We are very young. We are very hopeful. Hopeful people.